Good morning, Trinity family. Have you heard the word? What's the word? Today comes from John 14, 27. We have been having some fun faith adventures with our friends and family. And today we're inviting another Trinity kid friend. Hey. Hey. Yay. Yay. Cool beans. Cool beans. Sweet. Sweet. Wowzers. Awesome. awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Flutterific. And the new one for today. Zip. 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 <laughs> so fun. All right. I have got a question for you. Have you ever been afraid? Or what makes you afraid? Darkness. Darkness. You know, I bet you a lot of people can relate to that. Today's promise actually talks about this. So have no fear because God addresses this in our verse. So John 14, 27. Can we make our Bibles? John 14, 27. All right. And here's what it says. I am leaving you a gift, peace of mind and peace of heart. Yes, because he goes on to say that the peace I give, the world cannot give. So don't be troubled and don't be afraid because I am leaving you a gift peace of mind and peace of heart. Now, when Jesus was talking to the disciples, he had just shared with them that he was leaving to go be with his father in heaven. And the disciples were having a freak out moment. What? You're leaving us? What? What's going to happen to us? What if the enemies try to harm us? Where are we going to go? What, what, what are we supposed to do? And they were afraid. And I think we can relate to that too. We have freak out moments when things get out of our control. And sometimes when that happens, we actually look to the world to give us comfort. Maybe we look for comfort food or we wanna go to a certain place or we think if we have something that that will give us comfort. Well, a lot of times those things don't last. It is only from Jesus himself that we can have a peace that is permanent, eternal, lasts forever. And he promised his disciples when he left, I am going to be sending you my Holy Spirit and giving you a peace. Let's do our verse again. I am leaving you a gift, peace of mind and peace of heart and that's from john 14 27. all right well in peace why don't we go to god in prayer lord jesus we just want to praise you for who you are we praise you that you are peace and lord we're sorry when we look to other things outside of you for that peace and right now we want to say thank yous do you have a thank you thank you for bringing me in thank you uh, 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 for getting to be here today. To be here yes, we're so glad you're here. And Lord, we want to bring to you our requests. And I'm just asking for our world and for our little world that we live in, that we would look to you for that peace, Lord. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Can we hear an amen? Amen. Amen. All right, now it's time for What's the Park? What's the Park? All right, drum roll, please. Yesterday, we were at Tipton Park. Tipton's so cool because it has a splash park, it has a trail, it has softball, it has basketball, it has a cool tractor. Check it out. Now, today's park, we are standing by a huge tower. It goes all the way up there. That's going to be our clue for you, okay? So, we are asking the Lord to give you a peace out Thursday. God bless and... Word up. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs>